Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Marlo Cosmetic Tattoo and I am the Marlo, the one, the only Marlo. Actually, I came across a different permanent makeup artist profile whose name was Marlo also. Like, how funny is that, right? Such an obscure name and an obscure job. I love it. Imagine if you had the same birthday, the world would be an inception. Okay, I'm getting like super off track here. I'm just like kind of bummed. You don't know already i live in new york city and i have a podcast pmu unfiltered which is probably where you're finding me from and i think it's just really fun to vlog and show you guys a little bit about what it's like to a live in new york city and also be a permanent makeup artist and what it takes and a little bit about my studio some uh work obviously uh healed work and i have some fun days ahead of me a little bit of this a little bit of that i did a tattoo exchange with a dope tattoo artist here in Brooklyn. She did this piece for me. I'm obsessed with it. I mean, how freaking cute is that? And in exchange, we did a shaded winged liner and you know, she she's pretty tatted up and I am expecting our touch up session for her eyeliner to be bigger and badder asser. So I'm looking forward to that. That's today. And I mean, maybe I'm gonna talk to her about getting another tattoo because how does one? So freaking cute, obsessed. Um, yeah, so I got that going on this week. I got my aunt coming in this week. That's gonna be a cover up on some old work. Not really feeling that. I mean, she got her brows on like ages ago. And yeah, that, that's, I'm just anticipating the week. And then if you guys don't know, I've been working on a tattoo apprenticeship because I wanna tattoo more and not just brows and lips and eyeliner. You know what I mean? Not just permanent makeup. So I've got some tiny tats coming up this week and I'm really pumped about that. Uh, yeah, let's get to it because I gotta get out of my apartment. I gotta leave Brooklyn. I gotta get on the subway, get to the studio, open up the studio space. And yeah, I got some fun things going on this week. So I think it's a really great time to loop you guys in on my week and let's have some fun, right? Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I have been on such a Lady Gaga kick. Too much? Mm, I feel you. If you haven't done so already, pew, 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 pew. don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you wanna see a particular piece of work that I'm working on right now, like a lip question or an ombre brow question or an eyeliner stretch question. Open forum. But definitely don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I know someone else is out there watching besides my mom. Also onto bigger and better, more amazing things. How amazing are these pants? These pants are giving me life and, oh, you know, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too much attention walking through the city wearing loud clothes, but I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Black on top, fun on the bottom. Guys, let's go. and I couldn't resist getting these little adorable peppers at the farmer's market. And this is definitely one of the reasons why I love Union Square. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the city. It's so beautiful here and there's so many characters, which is, I mean, honestly, if you're a New Yorker, you probably like people watching. It's forever giving. Um, yeah, loving these little peppers. Got some apples and pears, just like some good snacks. Um, and that's, that's like something I love about New York. You have access to so many amazing things here, like farmer's market stuff. So, mmm. Good 
morning. It is 6.45 and I am leaving the house to go to hot yoga. Yes, I feel like, I don't know, I've been really slacking on my workout routine. So I, I wanna get back into it and I definitely wanna get back into it like before the holidays. So mm -hmm. I have to go. I don't know how people do this. I'm, I'm that people, I'm that people. Oh my God, that is seriously some morning vibes right there. I got to yoga class for 7 a.m. class. I was out the door at 6.40 today. Hats on the back. I just feel like as winter comes around, I get a little creaky, I don't know. I just wanna keep moving, you know what I mean? Especially like in this part of my neck and then sometimes the carpal tunnel from all of my work. I'm a lefty and this is my working hand. So I really find that hot yoga and just stretching while I'm watching TV at night makes a huge difference in how I'm just kind of decompressing all of these stress points in my body to be more comfortable when I'm working. So if you guys are going through back pain or I know it's super common for the tattoo artists out there, but back pain and like shoulder and neck pain and the carpal tunnel, gotta stretch it out. Guys, uh, there's medicine in the movement, of course firm believer in that. My whole day yesterday just like totally fell apart. I don't know if you've ever had a day like that. You're a permanent makeup artist slash artist. Um, I don't know, a human. My whole day just like, pfft, like collapsed from under me. Like all these cancellations and reschedulings and movements and yeah, but I obviously made the best of it. The farmer's market was, mm, it was so lush and beautiful and harvesty and oh, just all those basic bitch vibes that I love. I got some plants, I got some apples. Um, happy, happy, good times, good times. Also, <laughs> I got a lash lift done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the beauty of working in the beauty business. When you work in the beauty business and people need models for services that they're trying to promote and whatnot, that's when you get some free services being friends within your beauty hub. Yeah, so I'm feeling the lash lift. I'm gonna avoid putting on mascara for a few days. I just don't wanna really damage the perm too much and have to like wash too much. So I'm just I'm just gonna enjoy this little all natural, little lifty lifty. Today, today, I'm gonna bring you inside my head a little bit about what's going on today because today, ooh, you know, that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm doing a cover up rework on my aunt and let me tell you, I don't like these brows. I really don't. If this wasn't my aunt, I'd be like, honey, removal or bon voyage, see you later. I, it's just really tough when you have like family members like that that really want help with their old permanent makeup work and they don't wanna deal with removal. So I've spent many barbecues trying to convince my Aunt Rosa to get like two removal sessions in and uh, no, nah, it ain't happening. She's like, please just make them nicer. And I'm like, oh, so today, has to come with some uh, agenda for tackling these old school tatted black brows. Yep, I said it, black brows. And I think is where I'm at right now. I'm gonna take you with me. You will see my process, but it's, they're black brows. They're old, they're faded uh, enough. And I think I'm gonna do a new shape. I'm gonna outline the new shape. Then I'm going to target correct within the new shape, the old brow with, I'm sorry, I'm going to color correct, not target correct, color correct the old brow, which is kind of gets blue because she has very black hair and I know that the brows were probably done with very carbon loaded uh, pigment. So I'm, I'm, I think these brows are pretty blue. Um, but she, she looks good with a dark brow, it's fine. She's got really dark old eyeliner. <clears throat> um, you know, the things that our family did before we became permanent makeup artists. Um, yeah, so I'm going to color correct inside the brow and then she looks good with dark brows. I will be giving her a darker eyebrow. Um, it suits her and it has to be like that. Those, that's the weight that you have to like kind of play with. like. Are you gonna get a removal and be able to give someone a softer eyebrow or the only way to cover something up is to go a little bit darker. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to taking you on this corrective journey, which mm, makes me a little nervous broadcasting it, but 
this is the nature of our work and cover-ups are a part of the gig. And yeah, all right, let's get into the city. Hey, fix <laughs> these brows. This shape, yeah. yeah. Less blue, more brown. Yes. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Something that's not fake to me now. I want to wake up with you All right, so you saw that my aunt had really blue black eyebrows from, oh gosh, I think she told me something like 15 years ago. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, that, that was the tattoo ink at that time. And uh, yeah, that, 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 those are the works. You know what I'm saying? So we ended up, I like using very, very orange based um, pigments to go over those super blue black brows. Um, my favorite pigment right now that I feel like doesn't have too much white in it and that it's really orange is Flame by the Tina Davies collection. I feel like that is just, whoa. It looks really bright red in the bottle, but when you wipe it off, you're like, wow, it's such a beautiful orange and that's gonna be really great for corrective work, especially when you're doing color correction, of course. Um, shape. Shape definitely had me stressed out. It's really difficult dealing with people when the arches are uneven because in order to get those arches in the same place, sometimes you have to make the brows bigger. And I really just didn't want to make the brows bigger. And I mean, a little asymmetry is, is what makes us human. And I prefer to keep the brows a little bit on the smaller side. I will show you a photo of the brows here. My aunt sent me this photo and yeah, you can see just a little bit of asymmetry, but Overall, the shape is more flattering. It's a little less tadpole looking. And um, I really do feel like they look a little bit more warm and brown and it's gonna wear a little bit better, especially after seeing her. Her hair color was, um, she's keeping it a little bit softer and a little bit more brown right now and not dying such black hair color for her. So yeah, these are the seven days-ish of what she's going through. You can see a little bit of scabbing going on but I'm pretty happy with the results. She texted me, she's so happy with the results and I know she's gonna need a touch up. That's the nature of this work. I know always when I'm touching old work, I'm gonna have to deal with the touch up because that old brow is gonna be peeping through a little bit through my new shape. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you like these more vlog styles. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It just gives me a little more encouragement and enthusiasm to keep doing this for you guys. And um, yeah, like this video if you liked it as well. Comment down below. I wanna know a little bit more about what you would like to see a day in my life here as a permanent makeup artist in New York City. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Bye guys.